these in fucking forever. Okay, sorry about that. It's me, your bestie, who's a bestie, who's getting high as a fucking flying Westie. I know, right? Whoosh, already. Vivian Frost, back with another top 10 bestite list. This time, this episode, I'll be talking about one of my favorite musical artists, Monsieur Michael Jackson, R.I.P. It's been like almost 10 years, like 8 years, something like that. 2015, 20, I don't know. It's been a long time. Um, but no, just, just so we clear the air from the transvestite elephant in the room. No, not me, even though I am wearing gray silk tonight. Let me make sure this doesn't look like a mullet. It's a ponytail. A button. A loose button. A messy button. Very messy. Anyway, um, obviously people are very opinionated about Michael Jackson's extracurricular activities. This episode is not about that. It's about the music. But let's just say I've watched a lot of documentaries and a lot of interviews on YouTube. And if you want my fucking opinion, the man was surrounded by people who would never tell him no. And he was... He needed a, he needed a psychiatrist is all he needed. He needed a really good psychiatrist. But also, I think he had the biggest target on his back for these kind of allegations. Um, so, in a nutshell, which is getting bigger by the second, do I think that it's true? 70% no, 30% yes. So basically, do I believe it happened? No. Do I think it could have happened? Absolutely. But we'll never know for sure. But I can only base my opinion on, which is obviously a little, like, a little jaded because I grew up on the Thriller record, the original one. Um, however, based upon, like I said, all the, just go, go down the rabbit hole for both sides. Both sides. And I think it leans more towards people taking advantage of him because he had the biggest target on his back. Anyway, we're here about the music, like I said, like 20 fucking minutes ago. So, anyway, top 10 Michael Jackson songs. Now, again, these are just the ones that I currently think are the 10 best. And they are in kind of an order, because I did really kind of think about these a lot. But number 10 would be... I will try to keep that into a minimum. Sorry. It just, as the weed hits and I wash it down with the alcohol, it's going to get worse, so. But that's the fucking charm of this fucking show. Anyway, Dirty Diana. One thing that I appreciate about Michael Jackson is that he has such a good R&B voice, he has such a, a cool pop voice, and he has such a good rock voice. Like, his voice is good in any genre. And as you'll see from this list, I got one hair that keeps fucking catching in the eyelash. We'll see. I'll deal with it. Anyway, uh, Michael Jackson has such a good rock voice. Um, as you'll see, like I was saying, a lot of the, my picks are more the more rocky tunes, so to speak. Not the rocky tunes, but the <laughs> rocky tunes. Um, because I like that, like that voice. That you know, the as we'll see, you know, like he's angry. You know, again, more the the rock part of pop. Uh, so yeah, Dirty Diana, love the track, it's just, it's, you know, it's got that little, it's like Billy Jean a step further, you know, so, speaking of closer to the Billy Jean era, but previous, don't stop, don't stop till you get enough, you know, in a, such an infectious beat, it's just, so, it's such a fun song, and it's just, to me, it's quintessential OG Michael Jackson, you know, in terms of his solo career, such a good fucking song, and you just can't help but fucking you know, get fucking excited when it comes on. Uh, going back to 90s, Michael, Man in the Mirror, this is, I think most people probably, this is probably their favorite, this and, of course, Billie Jean. See you soon, Billie. Um, but Man in the Mirror is just such a good song, and I'm not sure if this was written before or after, like, the first trial, so I'd have to look that up, because I'm not a fucking expert. I'm just a drunken high transvestite, so... 
Anyway, Man in the Mirror. Absolutely fucking love it. Love it. Good jam. Uh, and again, like, it's poignant, you know, especially for all the stuff that was, you know, muddling him. Uh, the only, and number seven for me, my seventh favorite, uh, a posthumous release. You know, so technically this isn't a... You know, some people wouldn't even consider this a Michael Jackson song because he didn't give it his blessing before his passing because the album wasn't released until after. But uh, Hold My Hand, do that with Akon, even though, let's be honest, Akon's singing most of this track. However, the song is so fucking good. This is such... I just absolutely love this song, which is why it's in my top ten of all time for Michael Jackson. Even if he's only singing 30 fucking percent of it. Uh, but it gets a pass because it's so fucking good. Uh, number six... This was a television event back in the day. When this video premiered, it didn't premiere on MTV. It premiered like on prime fucking time. It was a like television special. This The full black and white video premiering. Uh, and then in the end where he's smashing a car and grabbing his crotch. Uh, especially, I know me as a very young kid, was just like, what is happening here? Um, and a lot of fucking people's parents, mine included, were very upset about that. And that's when a lot of people turned, especially white people, turned on Michael Jackson as to be in like, you know, no, oh, he's creepy, he's freaky, blah, 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 whatever. Again, not, this isn't an episode about that. Although it's always like right there whenever you talk about Michael Jackson. But anyway, black or white, uh, I don't like the album version because it has the fucking intro. So like it's 40 seconds to get into that killer guitar line. What an Sorry, I'm trying to keep that to a minimum because that's super embarrassing. And I know it's embarrassing. That makes it ten times worse than even admitting it. And then you'll still, I'll probably do it four or five more times. Uh, it's the fucking weed talking, everybody. Sorry. So sorry. Anyway, black or white. The videos, for the time, the morphing effect at the end, I think like the only precedent to this was maybe Ron Howard's Willow. with Because that was a big deal with the morphing scene where she's like, you know, turn me into an old woman. Uh, Willow with the fucking janky wand. Uh, blah 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 but this was a huge deal and again this is a great one because it's got the pop Michael and the rock Michael to get like meshed really good like in terms of like the, uh, the lyric well the lyrics of course and his inflection uh, but the chorus and the verse is what I was trying to fucking say um, so yeah but black or white uh, on the greatest hits album it's uh, let me try and skip one go away black or white it's the better because it just starts with the guitar riff. You don't get the intro and everything. Uh, number five, where am I? Number five, yeah. A lot of people might have this as their number one. Uh, this is a man of the mirror, I think, are probably the most, if I had to guess. I know Thriller might be number three. Those three definitely have to be in the top three. Anyway, we'll see where they land on mine. Uh, but Billie Jean lands at number five uh, because I think there's four tracks that are just better than Billie Jean. Now, influential, timely, and all that shit. Not really, except maybe one of them that's on the same fucking album. Um, but Billie Jean was like, this was the one. <laughs> uh, wink, wink. Tit shrug. Uh, that really just exploded him to the king of pop. Uh, it was, uh, of course, Thriller video. Again, prime time television kind of thing. World premiere video nationwide, worldwide. Huge television event, like Thriller coming on for the first time. Um, but yeah, but I think it was Billy, you know, that was like a very, a very Michael jackson song. song. Um, because he'd done Ben years before that too for the sequel to Willard. Um, so, but, so Billy Jean was like the actual first, you know, I mean, Thriller's a good song all year round, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's still, you never hear it more than you hear it at Halloween, of course. Um, but anyway, so Billy Jean was the first like actual yearly song, anytime song that came out for him and just Peter Pan is off to Neverland. Literally. Number four. She's out of my life. Um, this was on Off the Wall, I think. Don't quote me on that because, again, I'm not a goddamn expert. Um, just a fan. Transvestite. Um, anyway. Uh, this is the soulful ballad Michael Jackson, which he's got a couple of great ones of those too. Um, but I think this is his best slow song in terms of like, you know, a ballad. 
a true ballad, I guess. It's just, it's so sad and just builds and you can, honestly, you can feel that there's something behind it for him when he sings it because he's that fucking good of a singer. So, yeah, this might be the one that a lot of people didn't remember too much. And, you know, they, oh yeah, fuck, I love that song, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, number four for me. Number three. Hey! Sorry. Uh, now, originally, this blouse just came in today and I was so excited. I really wanted to wear the silk over the satin because silk feels so much fucking better. Uh, it's just harder to find, uh, but for not exorbitant prices. Just so give me some likes and subscribe so I can get those seven hundred dollars silk blouses. Bullshit. Um, anyway, smooth criminal, uh, Moonwalker. Uh, just the iconic video, the lean, which I'm really like. You can't see my feet, but I'm actually doing. I'm, I've been moonwalking this whole time, and it's been keeping up with me. BT dubs. Anyway, Smooth Criminal, again, the Rock Michael, that, you know, ah, ah, hee hoo, chamona, you, oh, you know, that punk, you know, like, punk, almost like, yeah, like, kind of like a punk rock, punk, not punk rock, the genre, but a punk slash rock inflection, uh, which I really like, as I've said before, because Smooth Criminal is number three, and number two is Beat It. When I was a kid, spinning the fucking record, and I, and I would play his, I would play Thriller on my little toy record player, so the record was actually bigger than the player, but it still I had to like have it like had it rigged to where it would play it correctly at pretty much normal speed, maybe a little slow and warbly some parts. Anyway, but on the Thriller album, Beat It was the one, not Billie Jean for me on the Thriller album that was this is Michael Jackson and he's so fucking awesome. What a fucking badass song and Beat It is still a fucking badass song like. You know, people are like, oh yeah, Don't Stop Believing comes on. Oh yeah, fuck, Free Bird. Hell yeah, no. For me, like when I hear Beat It, it's just like, <sighs> fire comes behind my eyes and I just feel like I gotta tie my wrist to another fan across the room and we knife fight. Meanwhile, Eddie Van Halen, RIP. Well, actually, now it actually works out better for me because you could literally come down from heaven and play that kick-ass fucking guitar solo, which is still fucking awesome. In fact, when I heard Eddie, Eddie died, the first note that went through my head was the opening note of or the opening note of the solo for Beat It because it's that fucking amazing of a song however it's not quite as good to me when I think of Michael Jackson this is the first song that comes to my mind because I think it's one of the best songs he ever did for sure and obviously because it's the number one but I just it has especially now and how fucked up America is uh, but it's, it's a horrible fucking single cover for this <laughs> like it look, this would be the cover of You Are Not Alone uh, and not uh, the single for They Don't Care About Us. Because this song is so fucking... Just, it fucking fucks. This song fucks your ear. That's how fucking good it is. Uh, which is why it's my number one. Because uh, it's... Michael is fucking pissed. And he's talking. And every all the shit he's still saying was has been relevant since the dawn of fucking time, practically. Um, but it's... Just listen to the thing that... Again, The Rock. He, it, this is, you know... I wish he would have done a, just a, a, a whole rock album, a whole soul album. I mean, you could piece, piece them together to make them, but making your own, like, you know, like Johnny Cash had a th uh, three CD set back when you used to get CDs called, like, Love, God, and Murders, Love Songs, Spiritual Songs, and Songs About Murder, but, like, pulled from his oeuvre and all that. So, like, you could easily make a rock, R or rock pop, R&B, ballad, mixtapes, mixed CDs, mixed, or playlist is the word I'm trying to fucking say, uh, of all the different styles of Michael. But, Rock's my favorite, and in terms of his Rock CD, this will be the first fucking track. This is the one that just, when I get on here, I want to fucking punch dance like Kevin Bacon and Footloose. But of course, all them. But anyway, so, by now the little box that just appeared, I had it right the first time, over here and up here. Uh, this will be a video that, that YouTube thinks you would like, so you should check it out. Subscribe here, ring the bell, as people say, and I never fucking say, and it's going to be the third time I've ever fucking said it. Uh, I'm just not quite as fucking high and drunk as I normally am by the end of the episode. Or, everything is a conjunction right now, so I'm in the, I'm in the eye of the hurricane. There is quiet. The way he says that in Hamilton always makes me giggle. Anyway, I'll meet you next time. So until then, everybody, don't forget, stay frosty.